we are in the middle of nowhere. I have no idea who I'm going to meet. What animal you're going to have. <laughs> we have three days. To bring it to the slaughterhouse. Don't do that! We do have the toys to save it in the end. It's quite a burden to have that responsibility. British host and writer Stephen Gates is waiting for Canadian actor and influencer Julie Nolke. They're about to embark on an adventure through the dramatic highlands of Peru in South America. The reason I wanted to do this show was the same reason that anyone goes on an adventure is to find out about yourself and, yes. and find out about the world around you and how you fit into that world. Julie and Stefan have never met. Hey! Aha, hey! It's quite strange meeting a complete stranger in the middle of some poverty-stricken village in the middle of the Andes in Peru. Uh, it, it, I've never been in this situation before. I'll be right here. Just give me a second. <laughs> It's very interesting to meet a stranger and to go on an adventure together. Uh, we don't know anything about each other. Yeah, here we go. I'll catch you at the bottom. I'll catch you at Do the bottom. Do you mind? I got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hi! Oh my God. No, I need to fill myself. Hey, Julia, Hi. I'm Steph. So great to very meet you. Very good to meet you. Proper cuddle. Yeah, hey. yeah, come on in here. So. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Yeah, this is Peru. This is beautiful. Yeah. The only information they've been given is that they need to pick up an animal from a local shepherd named Octavio Puma before leading it to a butcher who will prepare it for the dinner table, unless Julie and Stefan unanimously decide to keep it alive. So I'm Steph, uh, I'm from London. Uh, I, can I picked that up. I'm a food yeah. writer. Hello, I'm Stefan, and I'm going to show you how to catch, how to make, how to find, how to cook. Stefan is a gastronaut. He's written several books about extraordinary cooking and has presented a number of TV shows, mostly for the BBC. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what do you do? Uh, well, I'm from Canada. I'm from Toronto. And I make YouTube videos. Uh -huh. I make food videos. I make sketch comedy videos. Now let's talk about food. Julie is known as an online food and travel host, and almost 50,000 subscribers enjoy her weekly comedy videos on YouTube. Don't do it. Don't you lick it. Don't you lick it. Both foodies eat meat on a daily basis. But will they have the heart to lead an animal to the slaughter after they've had time to bond with it? My default is 100% I would save the animal. There's no way I could go through with that. Absolutely not. I love animals, grew up with pets, grew up with dogs. I just don't think I could get my hands dirty like that. So I've stepped into this project pretty clear in my mind that if I can eat meat, I should be able to slaughter it. So I'm pretty certain that any animal that I've been given, I will be able to send it to slaughter without too much pain. You know, with respect. Uh, excuse me. Uh, um, uh, Octavio Puma? Octavio Puma? Octavio. You know, this way, this way. Okay. I give Andres. Andres. And Octavio Puma? No. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. This is going really well. That's a dead end. She tried, though. Hola, um, Octavio Pumas? Octavio Puma Andy. This way? Oh, this way? So we're walking the wrong way. Okay. All right. Good, okay, good start. Way. Strong start. <laughs> So, any, is there anything that you won't eat? Any any meat that you you draw the line at? No, pretty adventurous. Like sometimes you'll hear you'll hear something that you're not used to, and you kind of get this like, Ooh. <laughs> but it always ends up like, like I've had frog and uh -huh. snake and eel and stuff that you just don't grow up with. Yeah. It's all Octavio. 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 Should we ask these guys here? Yeah, I don't know. You think they know? No idea. Then your puma? You see? Right here? See. Send your puma. Ah, okay. Perfect. Okay, gracias. Gracias. Okay, gracias. Send your puma. Hola. Hola. Ah. Buenos dias. Send your puma. Send your puma. Hey. Hey. Cómo está? Cómo está? Are you? Uh, Octavio Puma? Ah, uh, si, sí, I can't. Oh, you're not Octavio Puma? Ah, you've been having it on. OK. OK. Octavio, bring him out. All right, we celebrated a little prematurely. <laughs> Hello. Ah, Octavio? Yeah. Ah, right. I'm Stefan. You speak Hello. English? Yeah. Do you have an animal for us? Yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, we have an animal for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. Great. Um, 
Can we see it? Yeah. Yes, sure. Is it your animal? It's our animal. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's check it out. Over there. Over yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Can we go find? Yeah. We go. Let's fantastic. go. Yeah. Hola. 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 This is Florentina. Florentina. What a beautiful name. Yeah. Florentina. And he's Alejandro. Alejandro. Okay. Should we go and find? Yeah. We go. Yeah. Excellent. This way. Oh wow. Have you seen what I've seen? Oh! <laughs> so great! <laughs> that is so wonderful. Oh, my um... gosh. When I first found out our animal was going to be an alpaca, I was really confused. I was absolutely, absolutely adamant in my mind it was going to be a guinea pig. And I, and I sort of I got myself ready for, for guinea pig. An alpaca, whoa, this is a whole different world. He's got these big, deep eyes with uh, enigmatic and sort of cute. So uh, I have to say, I'm slightly confused about where I stand now. This is a big animal. I was thinking we'd get like a baby, like a little. Well, maybe it was like we'll, a little piglet. Maybe we'll just grab a, grab, grab a small one and run. OK. Fine. Alpaca meat for me is foreign. I've never had it before. I've never tried it before. But it kind of makes sense to me that a large animal in a small village that you can kind of raise as livestock, it would make sense that you can eat it. So, have you, so this one right this here, one, yeah. this, this little fella just yeah. here. With the ears behind the baby. Uh-huh. Yeah. Does he have a name? Uh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, Javier. Javier. When Octavio pointed out um, Javier, uh, there was a kind of lurch in my stomach because that's when it suddenly becomes real. And I was like, this is going to be impossible. Can we get one of the old ones? Can we get an old one who's like lived a good life and is just like struggling to survive and is ready to see the end of his days? Yeah, we choose it, Javier, because you are taking uh, for, it's ready for meat. For, for food. To, for food. You want it younger. Yeah, that is the good one and ah, tasty okay. and soft. So what we are going to do is a small ritual to say goodbye to our uh, alpaca, uh, to our habiers. Yeah. And coca leaf is our important ingredient to do this ritual. Magic so Florent, the... she's going to bless uh, the alpaca. OK. <laughs> Can you imagine if we did that for every single time you wanted a quarter pounder with cheese? It just feel, it, but it's such a crazy thing because it did. It felt so respectful. So oh my before God. to leave, we are going to give a nice memory from the family from here. Mm -hmm. So soft. So soft. Yeah. Octavia, tell us what we need to know. Water maybe twice a day. Twice a day water. And he's eating normally. His favorite food is alfalfa. Alfalfa. Alpha. Yeah. Okay. He's an That's expensive it. animal. Yeah. <laughs> he eats alfalfa. And uh -huh. The alfalfa you can get in the, low, in the villages. Javier is ready to go oh. to the slaughterhouse. And you so have it's... to uh, bring to this address. Oh, okay. Yes, please. In Cusco. In Cusco, okay. yeah. You have to bring to Cusco. Julie and Stefan have three days to bring Javier from Wakawazi to the city of Cusco, roughly 100 kilometers to the south where he will be slaughtered unless they both agree to spare his life. You would be sending him to slaughter anyway, even if we yeah, weren't Yeah, one here. day. Yeah, everybody's going one day. Mm. All of them, they are going one day to the slaughterhouse. Yeah. There is this rush of guilt. At the same time, Octavia was really good because he said, you know, we would choose this animal. It's at the right age to be slaughtered. You know, we would do that every year. We'll, we'll take three animals every year, and this is one of them. So this was going to happen anyway. So this is uh, the grass. How long will that last him? Is that? It's enough. <laughs> enough for today. Gracias. You. Yeah, right? Hearing that the animal has to be slaughtered, yeah, I can process that. I think I keep replaying in my mind what it's actually going to look like when I get there. And that's a whole other story. I think this journey is going to be, I'm just going to go back and forth and back and forth. It's going to be a mind boggle. OK, so we're going to Cusco. What do you recommend? I can recommend is to go first to Calca. You have to walk to Gares. From there, you can take local transport to Calca. OK, thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Have nice thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll thank look you. after him best we can. Gracias. Thank you. Guys. All right, long yeah. hike ahead. OK, how about a run? Come on, let's go for it. Come on. Bye. Look at that, he's got his ears back. He's really concentrating. That's what I do when I take a poo. Do you? Do really you concentrate, that? yeah. It's like watching a baby take his first steps. I'm not enjoying it as much as you are. <laughs> and frankly, it's a little strange. It's a little bit creepy. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I'm quite proud of him. Julie, Stefan and Javier walk towards the village of Lares, where they hope to catch a bus to the town of Calca, their target destination for the day. He was a bit of woo-woo. Oh, gosh. He was a woo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have kids? Yep. Got one big fairy white now. Oh, yeah, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, two girls. Um, what ages? They're 13 and 15. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. gosh, teen girls. Yeah, teen trouble. Ballsy uh, they're a blast. move. Yeah, they're good do fun. they, uh, are they meat eaters? Do you guys eat yep. meat in the house? Oh, yeah. Yeah, real meat eaters. Big time? Yeah, we make our own salami and... You know, oh my gosh! Make wow. sure they get their hands you know, deep into into you know, meat and blood, and it's amazing that weird. you and I, like being the meat eaters that we are, are so careful around this creature. <laughs> Whereas I am more than happy to like go to the grocery store, pick up a steak. <laughs> I don't know its name. Yeah. Nobody did a ritual. Our alpaca is awesome. You walk a little bit, he's right behind you. Give him a little bit of grass, he loves it. He's your best friend. He's super docile, really friendly, easy to love. Oh God. Here we go. This is going to be impossible. I'm hoping that, that doing this makes meat eating that much more special because yeah. you realize what goes into it. You realize that, you know, the emotional journey that you ought to go on. Yeah. If you're going to eat, yeah. a, you know, if you're going to eat, exactly. a, eat a, a steak, you should be, you know, you should be prepared to kind of empathize a little bit with, you can't empathize with a cow, but you know, you no, should I totally understand, understand what the process yeah. is a bit more. So we set off from Octavio's house uh, down the Inca Trail, uh, through the valleys, and you've got these beautiful hillsides just piling down from on high. These, you know, absolutely vertiginous mountains coming down with this gentle grass all over it. Absolutely stunning. He's choosing a strange route. He's got the rope around his neck, kind of. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah, there You're you go. good. <laughs> Oh, is it fun over there? Stinky. Come on. Oh, yeah. Bad smells. OK. Mm. Oh, not in the, not in the muck. It's been pretty docile, hey, this whole way. Yeah. This, are you thirsty, bud? What, agua? Yeah. Ag no? OK, well, I tried. That's all right. <gasps> Look at this. this is brilliant. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Come on. Good Come friend. On. I just love giving him secret snacks. Yeah, exactly. I like being the snack giver. Yeah. That way we can be best buds. <laughs> Would you ever eat a dog? Yeah, if it had been raised right. Yeah? Yeah. So when you say if it had been raised right, like not as a pet? Uh, just well. Just so they've been looked after properly, hadn't been abused. Yeah. Got slaughtered. It's healthy. Yeah. Have you eaten a dog before? No, no. Hola. Hola. Um, the uh, autobus. Autobus? Autobus. Over here. This way? Okay. Gracias. Right. Uh, autobus for um, Calca? Okay. What do you say? Uh, no. Oh, no seat no, flaps. We can wait for the next one. Mm -hmm. Do you think we could take. Nah, come on. No? He's saying we can't take the alpaca on the bus. You have alpacas? Mm -hmm. Do you eat them? Like you eat them? Yeah. Yeah? Is it good? Yeah. So we get to Lares and we've got to get to Calca. We know we do. We know that there's public transit available, but the act of actually getting an alpaca on public transit turns out it's a little harder than, uh, than just asking. <laughs> Right, we better hang out and um, wait for wait the, bus, the next then. bus. And then, how are you going to negotiate getting an alpaca on the bus? We we'll smuggle him on. I'm getting a little close for comfort. <laughs> hey. Nah, uh, you can smell it. <laughs> Go on. I don't know you that well. Jewel knows it. Don't do that. <laughs> it's soft. Careful, careful, careful. Sorry, um, don't speak Spanish. No, I not the So we're, we're not going to fit on this guy. Right, OK. There's, a, there's one behind. Let's go, yeah. let's go and try these guys here. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Senor? Hola. Uh, go to Calca. Cuanta cuesta? Yeah. And? Alpaca is? Alpaca. 
Oh my gosh, it actually happened. We actually got on a bus. We ended up negotiating with his bus driver. He was totally cool about it. Got our buddy on the bus, <laughs> no trouble, and uh, we took the ride. So weirdly enough, he's, he seems to be quite comfy here. Yeah, he's good on the, good on the winding roads, yeah. surprisingly. Yeah. Quite better smelly. than I am. What's that? <laughs> Quite smelly. Yeah. Once you're in a small space with him. Yeah, a little bit. It's pinky. It's smelly. He doesn't like the corner. That's uh, better. Right here. Perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Awesome. Okay. There we go. You want the lead? Okay, I got him. In you come. Okay. I got you. Oh, good job, good job. There we go. Gracias. 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 We made it. Oh man, we made it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it? Yeah. So we've come down from quite a quite a height down to Calco. Yeah. So I guess it was nice and cold, a little bit damp up there. Yeah. It's not so much down here. No, I'm it's feeling baking. it. Here, do you want to hold him? Yeah. I'm, aren't you boiling? Yeah, it's my uh, yeah, It's yeah. like beautiful we'll out right over. now. So we get into Calca. It's beautiful, really cool, bustling town, but we are starving. And I was kind of concerned about uh, Javier, so I wanted to get him some alfalfa, because that seems to be his favorite. So we head to the market. Hola. 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 Alfalfa? Hola. Alfalfa? Alfalfa. Alfalfa over that way. Okay. Perfect. Muchas gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Oh, look at all those potatoes! Look how many potatoes they've got. Oh, wow. <gasps> look at the heads. Now, that's quite brutal. I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't think we should have him in here. I don't oh, think it's fair. I don't, I don't like this. Yeah. yeah. I think I was uncomfortable because when I buy meat at my grocery store, it is, like, pre-packaged. It is pristine. The beef is bright red. It's, like, perfectly cut. I never, ever see it like that. Should we get a little bite to eat down here? Oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chow, papa, y espagueti. Two chicken and spaghetti. So, we're eating an animal here. Mm-hmm. This was a chicken. It's delicious, but, it's, uh, but it would be good to care a bit more, I think. Right, so it'd be good if I sat down and thought, thought about what happened there, rather than just stuffing it in my mouth. And I think that's what think, I'm hoping though, to get you, this journey from. as a meat eater, deserve that guilt trip each and every time? Mm. Do you, is that, like, a, a part of eating mm. meat, is that you have to... I don't know, that's a serious question, because mm. I have... I, I totally agree with you, but another part of me is like, God, I, I've got to live my life. Well, like, I can't, it, every time I take a bite, I can't... But if you understand the process, then it doesn't have to be a guilt trip. Yeah. It just has to be an understanding the process right. where, where you've gone. So maybe... So it's a respect, it's a thankfulness. We're not going to yeah. do this all the time. Just a care, I guess. I just want to be able to think that I've, I've put some care into... Because that's death sitting there. Mm. As much as it is, it's life for us. But, right. you know, we don't have to eat it, I guess. You know, we could eat that bit there. Yeah. And, um, and there would be no pain, no moral issue. But as far as we know, I mean... That was the purpose of that chicken's yeah. existence. Now we're getting deep. Oh, man. Yeah. Too deep for spaghetti. Wipe your fingers. Mm. Gracias. Oh, which way are we going? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to have to... Mm. Go this, this way, yeah. Okay. Gracias. Come on, buddy. Grass, 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 grass. <laughs> Grass, grass. So this looks like grassy kind of wheat. Oh, uh, uh, alfalfa? Alfalfa. Alfalfa, this oh, one here. Oh, this. So oh, we come around the corner, and there's this whole street full of greenery. And it's like, whoa, alpaca nirvana. And Javier just heads straight for the biggest part of alfalfa. I didn't even know it was that's, that was the stuff. Nope, we haven't well, bought it, he's, yet. He's we haven't bought it, it yet. He's got to test it. He's got to test it first. Oh, and yeah. Maybe we should get a big, a big bundle. Oh, uh, yeah. big. Big. D this, so 10. Oh, 10. I think 10. Oh, 10, 10, 10. Okay. You got it? Yeah. You got the See? tenner? Oh, gracias. Okay. Hola. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet How's you. How's it going? Hi, I'm Julie. Oh. All right, should we just get How our bundle of, of stuff first? What are you doing here? Thing? Oh, oh, we have an alpaca, and we were going to get some alfalfa. Alfalfa. Yeah. 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 So and al alpacas eat alfalfa, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So we're doing our deal for the alfalfa, and um, this strange guy comes up, and I'm thinking, what's going on here? Oh, nice. 
Um, so. But we need, uh, do, you, do you know Calco? Do you live here? Yeah, not in Calca, but in the community. Turns out he's the sweetest guy on earth. Do you know somewhere where we can get a room for the night oh, that good, might take good the alpaca? Tonight? Yeah, tonight, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. If you want, we can to go to my home. My family have uh, made a community farm, but I need to call first my mom. Can we take our alpaca? Yeah. This guy has a place, and he's offering for us to stay. It's kind of like he has tourists come over. Anyway, of course, we say yes. Super relief. You have uh, luck, OK? Yeah? Because it's, it's um, ready my home for you. What? So we can, we can come and stay the night? And bring in the alpaca. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Well, let's grab our alfalfa. Um, yeah. Uh, he's already been eating this one. Oh my yeah. god. Your alpaca is yeah. Really yeah. Who's the daddy now, huh? Who's the daddy? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> don't be weird. These are new people we just met. Okay. Huh? She says uh, one soul more because, because uh, of the string. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one soul for the string. Please. Okay. Okay. You got it. Uh, it's it's Fifty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Gracias, senor. Okay. So when we agreed to go to this guy's house, I'm assuming that it's around the corner. I'm assuming he kind of lives there. And he's like, no, no, no. He points us to these motor taxis. And they are these tiny little taxis with kind of like a motorbike. Hola, senor. Okay. This one is okay because... Oh. Your alpaca, okay? Okay. okay. It's okay, okay to bring the alpaca? Let me, let me see, okay? Okay. I need to ask. So he finds one that's like a mini three-wheeler pickup truck. Absolutely beautiful. It's OK. OK. okay. Awesome. All right. And uh, yeah, everyone's dandy. We're on our way. Oh, yes! Gosh, you're getting so good at this. He's a strong. Oh, gosh. I'm really strong. Yeah, yeah. super strong. Yeah. Those Brits, man. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, this is the way to travel. Yeah. Bring in your head. Very nice. Yeah. Driving through the plains in the bottom of the valley is just absolutely stunning. It's everywhere you look, it's breathtaking. It's quite overwhelming. So after about half an hour of driving, we arrive at this small little Peruvian village, which is so cool. It's gorgeous. After you. Oh, wow. Hello, to mommy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is this your mama? She is my mom. Hey, hola. Hola. She is Teresa, hey. my mom. Hey, Teresa. Okay? Hola, Teresa. Pleased to meet you. Hola. Hola, Nana de Cosa. Okay. <laughs> This family home is so, so cool. This is exactly what I wanted when I went to Peru. He's my dad. It's like very rustic. It's very much the village lifestyle, but it's beautiful and they're so welcoming. We are uh, lucky for today. Only for you, tonight our dinner is pachamanca, okay? Pachamanca, what is pachamanca? Pachamanca is the, the food of the earth. The actual act of cooking it was very much like close in tune with nature. You know, we buried the meat on these hot stones that had been heated for hours, and then we had these potatoes, and we buried it all with dirt, and of course we blessed it. It was a really cool experience. Gracias. Ah, gracias. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. The food was everything I could have dreamed of. It, it, you know, it's not haute cuisine, it's not delicate, it's of the earth. It's a pachamanca, you know, it's, it, it feels right. It's all those flavors, it's got that earthiness, that depth. It, it, it feels like something you can care about rather than just chucking something inside because it's everything on that plate has got a story. That oh. was the most extraordinary meal. Thank you very much. Gracias. Gracias. To be honest, before all this, I probably would have said I was gonna save the animal. I think that's the easy choice. Uh, now, I don't know. I don't know. Meeting Octavio and seeing the ritual and just like the whole purpose of this alpaca, this like wonderful animal, is to provide sustenance in this circle of life. And I like, I respect that, you know? And then another part of me is like, ah. Oh, 
Gosh, I'm, just, I'm like such a jumble of thoughts. I've always believed I could eat every single piece of meat on the planet. You know, why should I be able to eat pork but not dog? I, you know, why I should be able to eat everything. But it's an emotional journey as well. You make it, you do make a connection with animals that you spend time with. So it's beginning to crack in my head a little bit. Um, but right now, I don't know. I think I think I could take him to slaughter, which feels bad to say. Um, but we've got a long journey to go on, so who knows what's going to unfold. Hey, fella. So, I was doing a touch of research. I learned that alpacas, like, don't, aren't good at being alone, like they can die from loneliness. Oh, uh, they're real sociable something? animals. That's something Octavio said. He was like, oh yeah, they're great in herds with their friends, right? You're saying I'm not enough for him? Well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, but no, so I started freaking out, right? So I started doing more research and get this found an alpaca sanctuary. He can like be around his buddies, maybe get some nice fresh food, awesome. we can chill out. Um, yeah. How are you feeling about uh, the... Um... Uh... I don't want to say it in front of him, but yeah. Uh, honestly, yeah. not good. I'm not feeling good. Right now, I don't know. I think I think what's, what's quite weird is when he starts getting quite calm, when he starts chilling out with us and sitting down, yeah, yeah, you love me, don't you? Um, you start making a bit more of a connection and that is the bit that makes it feel a bit tricky. Who's hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. How are you? I am fine. And you? Yes. Yeah, very good. Well, now we need to go outside the road because my friend uh, is coming with the car, OK? Ah. Thank you so much. The relief that came over me when Gilbert said we had a ride, I was like, it's actually coming together. Because if he didn't, I don't know how we would have organized getting there. Is this him? Yeah, he's Cesar, OK? Cesar. 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 Buenos días. Cesar, ¿cómo estás? Hola, buenos Cesar. días. Ellos son... Hola, Cesar. Hola, buenos Stefan. días. Stefan, Cesar, mucho gusto. Eh, hey, mucho gusto. Chilli. Hola, hola. Chilli, ¿cómo Chilli. estás? Chilli. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Cesar. ¿Estamos listos? OK. Um, we're going to uh, Cusco? Yeah, OK. Cusco? Is OK? Yeah, yeah. But... Oh, um, can we stop at the uh, alpaca sanctuary? Oh, that, let me see, is, let me uh, see. That's the one I was looking at. Uh, oh, por favor, puedes parar uh, unos minutos antes de llegar al Cusco en Aguana Cancha? Claro, perfecto, no hay problema. Aguana Cancha. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. yeah, it's perfect. It's yeah? okay, it's okay, it's oh, possible, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah, alpacas. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Seamless transition. Seamless. Like there you go. Alpaca? Yeah, sure was that. Oh, no, don't fall off, cheeky bops. Come here. Come here, beautiful. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Ciao. Ciao. For me, I think to actually watch something lose its life is where I, I, whew, I don't think, I don't know if I've got it in me. Yeah, you know? it's difficult, isn't it? As a meat consumer, you're so far removed from the dying animal, that's yeah. an easy decision to make. Whereas now we're here, and we're only two layers, you know, where we're going to be there yeah. in the room. And now it gets you thinking about it. I know that this is something I'm going to take back with me. I'm going to take that, think of it yeah. every, every time I pick up a package of yeah. tenderloin or whatever it is. So hopefully this will help me to, to just remember every single time that yeah. this is important stuff. Yeah. You've got to respect the, 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 the animals that, that, we're, that we're raising for meat and just slow the hell down. And Slow the care. hell down and care. care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right there, big fella? There we go. Beautiful. Hey, big fella. Thank you. It's all fine. It's all fine. Good. Okay. okay. We'll catch you in a bit. Thank okay, you don't so you much. go changing. Stay here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool. so excited. Come see some friends. Oh. Hey. All fine. Do you think most people who visit bring their own alpaca? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Fine. Totally normal, yeah. right? Cool. <laughs> There's friends. Hey. Look at all the friends. Oh, yeah. those must be llamas. <gasps> listen to him, listen to him. Yeah. Are you excited? <gasps> Who's that? Are you excited, buddy? This is such a good idea. So we came into the alpaca sanctuary, and <laughs> it's like being a proud parent, you know? You, we bring him along to meet some other alpacas, and you're thinking, are they going to reject him? Are they going to be friends? Are they going to bully him? And they're all sniffing around, and you can see he's really alert. And they're all jumping around, trying to get a, a view of him, trying to sniff him out. Really lovely. It kind of, I don't know, maybe kind of proud as a sort of proto-dad. We're taking an alpaca for a little journey, okay. and we just thought we'd stop and, and see if he could 
come and hang out with some friends? Yeah. Yeah. Is that a good idea or a bad idea, do you think? No, I think that is a good idea. They're so interesting, aren't they? They're all sniffing. They're like, where do you come from? Where do you come yeah. from? Who do you know? Come on. Hey, how are you? Come on. He's coming to us. He's not like, ooh. Oh. There was a little bit of a spit there. I think that's OK. That's kind of like a. Yeah, it's like pretty similar like to that. That helps to smell first to In see this... if they met friends. Right, Do, do right. these normally get shaved to, yeah, to take it the Yeah, it is. It, once for the year, they get shaved. Yeah. To make table runners, bracelets, even swords. Would it be possible to shave, like, get a little bit of fur for, like, a bracelet or something, like, something small as a... Uh, yeah, I think it, it could be. Like, yeah. Keep like, yeah. Would that be... I Just a little, a little it's really creepy or really lovely. I think that would be oh, really lovely. it would be lovely. <laughs> uh, like a reminder? But yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's I love just that. a nice memory because I know you have, like, a, a kind of bond with him. I love the idea that we can shave a little bit of Javier and have kind of a trinket of him to take with us home. And I was impressed. It, it was such a professional procedure. They knew exactly what they were doing. He seems really calm, hey? Yeah, you haven't got much time. He's like, I guess. it was really carefully organized and really cool to see. I love that. This is hard. I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be challenging. I, I just, like... Every time I have that waffle back and forth of what do I want to do? What do I think is the right thing to do? What do I think is the easy thing versus the stuff that challenges me? I go, man, the people that do this, the people that do this so that we can have meat in our grocery stores, utmost respect. And if you eat meat, is it paradoxically offensive to not be able to go through with it? Is it? Um, right. I don't know. The braces is ready. Oh, yeah? yeah. So well, yeah. Right? I'm not sure what I think about this. This is a little piece of heavy I've got with me. Um, and I don't know if that's a, a mark of respect for him, if it's a connection that I've made with him, or whether it's just a little bit weird. Um, but I'm beginning to really love it already. I feel like we've crossed the Rubicon here with something something fundamental has changed. I love cross the Rubicon. I'm so <laughs> glad he used that. <laughs> OK. Yeah, there we go. Say bye-bye. Yeah. Good. Coming down into Cusco, what an extraordinary experience. The whole city unfolding, splashing out from this central area and going all the way up the hillsides. Wow. Look at that. Tomorrow is the big day. Um, Got to make a big decision. I'm feeling conflicted. I, I just, I just so thought this was going to be easy. Okay. I thought that this would just unfold as a, as, as a series of rational decisions. And no, I'm all a bit of a mess. I, I, I wish I could say something really clear about what I felt, and it's just not as simple as that. Cesar. Oh, come here, come here. <laughs> Bring it in. Pavel. Gracias, eh? Oh, oh so one, one in the head with it. A little kiss. He tried nice to get a kiss in there. Yeah. <sighs> A little worried about um, where we're going to spend the night. Oh, oh another hostel. hostel. Oh, another hostel. OK, OK, OK. OK, let's try this. That's a big fat no. No? no not a chance in hell. All right. Casa. Casa Switcher. Yeah. Nobody in. Nobody wants us, baby. All right, OK. Yeah, wait, come on. No. Empty. Nobody there. Hola. Um, uh, Pala Inglese? Yes. Ah, we're looking for a room, but we have a, an alpaca. Do you have a... Are you able to have... A, a, can we keep the alpaca in, in a room? No. no. No? So many rejections, one after the other. Just began to think, what were we thinking? <laughs> Come here, Come here, have, have a little nibble. I think he's really distracted, isn't he? Hey, yes! Hey, that's a first. Yeah, you think, yeah you're thirsty, aren't you? No. No, no, no. Right. no. OK. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. Give it a try. Oops. Um, do you have um, two rooms and a, and a room for an alpaca? <laughs> no. Please, no. please. Finally, we got into one hotel and they <laughs> reluctantly said, OK, we'll take your alpaca. I'll check with the boss. Um, and thank God for that. Are you <laughs> serious? Yes, that is the best news in the whole world. That's very, very kind. <gasps> Ooh, you can tell us where he can go. Who's got the grass? Come on. Who's got Come the grass? Hey, this will totally work. Here we go. He's eager. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. 
Yeah, you you ready to chill out? Yeah. You got hot too? He's in the zone. <sighs> <laughs> this is really nice, isn't it? It is beautiful. Okay, I've had a an odd idea. Okay. Um, I wondered if we should head out and have supper. Mm -hmm. Okay, celebration for getting to Cusco. But also, a little bit of a twist. Maybe we should try eating alpaca. We've been talking loads about how this is the site of life, and he was destined to be eaten. Yeah. Yep. Let's do it. That's the only way that we're going to be able to go through with this. Yeah. A little bit worried about Cheeky Chops over there. Oh, he looks good. He looks happy. Mm -hmm. If you want, can I recommend a restaurant? Mm -hmm. I show in the map? Yep. It's fine. OK. Mm, we are here, mm -hmm. Melo Street. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is it. Yeah, yeah. awesome. The idea of tasting alpaca meat is uh, exciting to me. I love uh, trying new things. The fact that it's in this circumstance does feel weird, but uh, I was really curious about it, and I really, really wanted to try it. Welcome to the restaurant, and Thank I will you. get you the menu. Gracias. Is alpaca very commonly eaten around here? Uh, it is when tourism started, actually, but ancient people used to consume it a lot, but dehydrated. So it used to be like just when... Like jerky. Exactly, stuff. like jerky. Yeah. But it wasn't like common as now. Diving in and trying alpaca, that's, that's what I do. That's what I love doing. Yeah. Suddenly, though, when you've got an animal on the end of a string and you're looking after it and then you're going to eat its kind, there's a sudden emotional overlay. This is the reality of something that I'm going to choose to do or not do. We have the alpaca the chair. It's an original with wine and with figs. And definitely we want a fettuccine in a... <gasps> yes, in white sauce. Yes, my friends, enjoy your food, please. Thank you, so Thank you very much. Whoa. So there is a sudden realization here, which is that that is a hunk of young alpaca. But bear in mind, this is what Javier will look like on the plate. You know, I, I don't want to be overly dramatic, but this is, that's what we're doing. I don't, I don't know if I'm there in, in my brain. So stupid. This is so stupid. I think in that moment is uh, is when things started clicking. And it made me really uncomfortable. I'm really uncomfortable. I guess this is the reality of, of the of well, it's making a connection. It's making the connection with the food, making the connection with India. It tastes good. <laughs> It tastes really good. It's delicious. It was honestly the first time that I connected the animal with food. And it was overwhelming. Tomorrow morning, we'll figure it out. Okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. It's so good. Stay, stay strong. It's so good. This is better than that. Stay strong. I'm a soup. Hi, can I get um, a taxi to this address? Okay. Um, also, I need to be able to put an alpaca in okay, the taxi. Okay, okay. What time do you need your taxi? Um, like right away. Yeah, okay. So you're going here? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can take it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. 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 We'll I just be, I'll be out there. Yeah, okay. I'll wait for you. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Today's the big day. Um, last night, I slept so badly. Why can't I just come up with a rational decision? There should be a clear moral imperative here, and I just can't find it yet. Not so far. wink. Yeah. Weird kind of roller coaster. So I'm weird. Really, really weird. I'm sitting there just feeling angry with myself. Why angry with yourself? I don't quite know. So I think because I couldn't, couldn't make up my mind. If, if I'm wavering, where's Still. my moral backbone, Still. you know? Yeah. You know Daddy loves you. Stefan feels very different today. His personality has totally done a 180, which is kind of tough for me because on this adventure, he's kind of been my rock. But it's good. I, he's, he's handling the gravity of this situation in his own way. I think it's exciting. I think it's exciting to see how much it means to both of us. Hi, Liz. Mm -hmm. Your taxi's here. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, that's... Great. Awesome. Um, thank you. This is a super taxi. In you go. The drive to our final destination was uh, kind of eerily calm. We didn't really talk a lot. I think we're both processing. I think the decision, I don't know where his head is. I know where I stand, and so hopefully we agree, because I would hate to um, not. Steph. Uh, Celia. Celia. Yeah. Uh, Julia. No, I'm Julie. Julie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a lot going on. <laughs> There's a kind of a rush of adrenaline, nausea, um, hearts beating faster. Um, this is this is the moment coming up. Muchas gracias por traerlo. Ahora es mío. As you see, the, now uh, the paca is for her. She um, will own. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well. When you slaughter an alpaca, can you just take us through the process? What, what happens? The process, for some, uh, first of all, is to, to tie the, the feet of the alpaca and then to cut the neck. Does, does the alpaca feel a lot of pain? No. We'll just have a few minutes to have a little think, if that's OK. Gracias. Gracias. Come on, Bella. Come on, come with me. OK. Okay. Whew. Come here, come and find the best grass. Best grass you can find. What, uh... Sorry, ignore this. What, uh, what are you thinking? I think this is the best place to be to, for it to happen. If, totally. If it's gonna happen. Totally. Um... I think it's how they've done it for hundreds of years. I, I mean, this is... The, the fact that it's really hard is... is the right thing. You know, the fact that it's a tough decision to make. You know, if... Totally. If I can go home and eat some meat... Yeah. ...whatever it might be, you know... Whenever somebody eats some meat, an animal has to die. And if you can't... If you can't live with that yourself and make the decision, then... You, you're, you're spineless, you know? Yeah. You eat meat, an animal has to die. And I want to be able to hold my head up high and say, I've done the right thing. So, we're both on board? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a yes, isn't it? I think it's a yes. And, you know, if you're... I, if think, you're... I feel... I think... I feel good. That feels... That sits well with me. I initially thought that I would save the animal. I, I couldn't fathom that I would be in a place where... I would feel brave enough to do it. I knew it was going to take like everything I had, and thank God for Stefan and, and the journey that we went on and talking about it and really hashing it out. I, I thought that there would be a long, drawn-out struggle with myself and with Julie, but it was it just sort of unfolds in front of you. This is the thing that has to happen, and so the answer was yes. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. So before they start the slaughtering process, there is this ritual, and the amount of respect that they have for this animal, it makes me feel so good. It makes me feel that we're doing the right thing. It was a really quick process, and I was so relieved. From now on, I'm going to be eating a lot less meat because I've, I've been dragged through hell, really, just trying to take that journey from, from animal to something that I put in my mouth. I knew it would be difficult. I knew it was going to be challenging. But the respect I have for meat has just soared at this point. A slight sense of relief. I don't know about you. Yeah. Kind of... Huge. Although, although it's huge, just feels so brutal to watch. I, I'm surprised. I, I, I'm, this, it's been done beautifully with yeah. dignity. It was with, so smooth. With a sense of connection to the land and mm -hmm. 
This whole experience has been a roller coaster adventure, and it's both physical and mental. And I know those things are easily said, but I have fundamentally changed my relationship with animals and with meat. I'm not going to buy a steak in the same way ever again, that's for sure. The meat that we buy doesn't get this kind of respect. We saw the best case scenario. Yeah, I guess so. I don't think I could have done this solo. No. In fact, Same I know. Here. I know Same for a fact I couldn't have done this solo, so thank you. Yeah, thank you for taking me on the journey. Vice versa.